Let's go have fun. Alright. So, what do you think our tree fort's missing? A pond. <laughs> she knew what we were doing, so. Daddy, what? Can we try to jump across? Yeah, you're right. This is it. This is the perfect spot right here. This is where we're going to build our bushcraft tree fort swimming hole. Yeah, these little ponds are great spawning grounds for little trout. In fact, if there were beavers here like there used to be, this would be already a big pond, but unfortunately we killed them all off, <laughs> or a lot of them. So we're going to do the work that the beavers can't right now until they mm -hmm. come back in their population. Mm -hmm. You want to help? Mm -hmm. Can I call you little beaver? No. <laughs> I just picked this rock up and I'm fairly certain those are some kind there's there's some kind of eggs i don't know what kind though but they could be they could be eggs uh, for the trout that live in here so it's getting a bigger rock to hammer that in but definitely do not want to take the chance of harming those eggs so i have to be very careful about putting that rock back somehow and not messing with it right here. All right, I so I'm just gonna make sure not to touch that again. Snack. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do here is we're going to wedge these branches down in between these logs, okay? Uh -huh. And that's how we're going to create a barrier down here. And uh, we can use all these after, Daddy. In order to stop the flow of water. There we go. There we go, okay. I got stinging nettle on my ear. It hurts. <laughs> Oh, is that for me? I eat a lot of yeah, Thank there. you so much. Whoa. I eat a lot of food now. Agent Trinity to the I snack eat. rescue. Mmm, Dan, that belly is looking healthy. Yeah, my shirt is a little smaller than it used to be. <laughs> <laughs> or something. So we have leaves and sticks here, but the water's kind of going right through it. So what you want to do is put the mud at the bottom and up against it. balls of mud, then dipping it in the water to make it sticky. It's not. 
So is the water spilling over the top now? Mm -hmm. So we put sticks and then mud, like the beavers do, and now it's spilling over the top. Mm -hmm. So what do we need to do now? Pull the back to the bear top. Yeah, maybe put more sticks. And mud. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So now we're gonna put more sticks on top of this. Mm -hmm. Keep going. So we've gotten the swimming hole up about, I'd say about uh, and five inches. Maybe six inches. You get the sticks, or yeah, you get the sticks, and I'll get the mud. Yeah. So, when we decimated the beaver populations, we also decimated everything else that goes along with the habitats that beavers build. The wetlands in the United States that host a ton of different <laughs> creatures, if we decimated the beaver population by 80%, the wetlands went away by generally around that amount. 80% of the trout that thrived in these little ponds all up and down these creeks, they don't have homes anymore because they can't live in that shallow water. They need the bigger ponds to be safe too. Safe from raccoons and other predators and safe from temperature. And they need room to swim around and eat. Every time I build a pond, I, I feel good about what we're doing because I know that it's creating a bit more of a habitat for these creatures. Those eggs that you saw under that rock, the creek in about a month is going to be down so low that those eggs would actually not be in the water. I'm not so sure that they would have actually survived. Because we're building this pond right here, I think those eggs will have a lot more of a chance to survive and turn into trout. If they are trout eggs, I'm not exactly sure. I'll have to look that up. It could be some other kind of amphibian or, or something that uh, laid those eggs, but I think they may be trout eggs. All these trees and shrubs and bushes that grow around here, well, they're kind of like predators too. They take over habitats and take nutrients and the beavers keep these trees in check and shrubs, but without beavers, these have a distinct advantage and they take over. And I like balancing that out a bit here with, with my machete. <laughs> They got a nice, good deal of mud here. Good work, you guys. We do have beavers active around here. And this right here is a recent piece of beaver activity. They chew the bark off of this stick right here. This is a uh, uh, vine maple. And that's what they eat. That's their food, is the tender inside of the bark. What is it? Look at those. Oh. There's two of them. What are they? Yeah. Little red things. I, I thought heard they might be like oversized parasites or something. Uh, no. I like, have no idea what that. What don't, are don't, those? don't. Yeah, be gentle with it, cause it's, I saw them uh, on a book. Are what are those? Yeah, there was one there. A river found one right I there. I don't know. A lot more buckets. So you yeah. can see all those little holes right there, and what happens is this floating debris here, it floats over and then gets itself wedged right there. And that helps to block the flow of water. So that's the advantage we have here is that anything that breaks off and floats down there, boop, gets trapped right here. Boy, Dad, this is and it helps. It but we have considerably raised the water level here by about, oh, uh, that's about a foot and four inches. Yep. So that's 16 inches that we've raised the water here. So what I'm doing is, I'm gonna get a bunch of grass from like the side 
And then what I'm gonna do is just throw it in there and it's gonna go and block it. Yep. Yep, that's a good idea. That's what the beavers do. Oh, and look! Yeah, they use the mud, the grass. That's good stuff right there. Oh! That'll... Oh! That'd be the biggest piece yet. Yeah. 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 Okay, so Agent Axe found something in I found a beaver den! We found a den of some kind of animal. Probably a beaver. That is aquatic, so it could be a beaver. Or it could be a, a nutria. Maybe fish. Oh no, maybe. yeah, I don't have nutria here. Muskrat, yeah. Maybe. So, maybe but that's pretty big, so it's probably a beaver. Yeah. That's it's pretty cool. Pro <laughs> it's probably not a fish's den. No. No. <laughs> No, a fish can't can't uh, dig something like that out. Well, yeah. no, there's a tunnel and it oh, goes oh. way up in here. What was that? It yeah. goes way up in there. Yeah, I think that's not being used anymore because it was really grown over. So, probably no, an old, know, old beaver, the den. beaver den. It's a clue. For grass. I found the beaver. Life's an adventure and a mystery. And uh, the beaver's the key. Beaver's the key. <laughs> what you doing, huh? You like my pond? You like our pond, huh? Yeah. Think you can uh, survive better with this pond here? Maybe grow some frog babies, huh? So the work of the beaver is tiresome work. It's difficult, but it's rewarding. Without the beavers around, somebody's gotta do it. See how deep it is on you. Oh, all of it? All right, who wants to be baptized? Not me. What does baptize mean? Come here, I'll show you. I baptize you in the name of love. I'm <laughs> just kidding. When you're baptized, it's a it's a it's a sign of cleansing. You completely submerge yourself in water. You allow somebody else to do that. You come up refreshed and cleansed. <sighs> so who wants to play Marco Polo? Me! Marco. You have to close your eyes. Polo. Polo. Hey, I saw you open your eyes. Marco! Polo! Polo! Ah. Ah. Polo! Oh, you got me. <laughs> Alright, so instead of Marco Polo, we're going to play Pika Chu. Pika! Chu! Pika! Chu! Jiggling! in the pond. Ah! It's warmer now though. Gigas. Ah. That was always going for me. <laughs> I already got him. Oh. oh, these kids always fighting. Damn. Abra. You see how hard that is? Stars. 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 So, Agent Hummingbird, what is the only cryptocurrency that you should invest? Yes, <laughs> what, what is, is the, the only cryptocurrency that you should invest? That's coin! It's the people's cryptocurrency, you know it's the best. My toy! The most fun and ironic crypto, that is for sure. So crypto! We're taking those coins to the moon. To the moon! And if a broker says you can get rich with those coins, even if Daddy, e even if Daddy Elon knows it's much <laughs> alcohol. No, time to join. Time to join. Taking We're taking the puppy, puppy to, to the moon. To the moon! Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Never sell. Much rich. Much rich. Buy, buy more, buy more, buy more, buy more. It's doing well. Much rich. Rising, 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 rising. rising. Never tell. <laughs> no, you say much, much trading. trading. Shut up and take my money. <laughs> it is a not not funny. What is the only cryptocurrency that you should invest? Dogecoin. It is the people's currency. You know it's the best. Please buy. We're taking Dogecoin to the moon. To the moon. 
Dogecoin to the moon. Dogecoin to the moon. Dogecoin to the moon. Dogecoin to the moon. Dogecoin to the moon. So crypto. What rich? So Asian X wanted to invest some of the money he's making from the Fatwood over the past few months in Bitcoin. And I said, well... No Dogecoin. Well, he wanted to invest in Bitcoin, but I was like, you know, maybe you should invest in Dogecoin right now. So we showed him the song. Meme money. And obviously he's like, yes, I'm investing in that. Meme Bravo, money. what a performance. Good work. <laughs> All right, everyone. Well, hopefully you enjoyed this Bushcraft Beaver Dam video. And I love doing the work of the beaver. Beyond. And I'm so grateful to be helping this environment out by doing this. I really do believe with all my heart that this is really helping this environment. The beavers were here and now they're not. And I think that really hurts these environments around here. So, all right, everybody, remember, life is an adventure and love is a key and love is a who. And love loves you. That's what I believe. All right. Agent Tex out. Agent X out. Agent X out. We know it it's is the people's currency. currency. You know no, it's, it's the, the best. best. Much beaver. Okay, adventure agents. So, we can't go yet. We have something so cool to show you. We put a game cam up by our tree fort Don't and tell him. Don't tell him. and by the pond that we made. Don't tell him what. I'm happened. not. Just hold on. So yeah. you're about to see what we saw on that game cam. You ready? You ready? Agent X <laughs> hasn't seen it yet. So, so first, so look at this. So look at this. Check out the little duck there. Isn't that cool? I didn't see the duck. I didn't, so I didn't awesome. see the duck. You didn't see the duck yet? No. Yeah, there's the duck. Look. Is it a baby duck? I don't know if there's one or two. It looks like a female wood duck. That is so mm -hmm. neat. And agents, this is exactly why these habitats That's are so a duck important. Kid. The is dog's it, going into the den. I think so. It's going into that little hole thing over it's there. It's a beaver den, but so, dogs took agents, it over. These creatures, like these ducks, they need these habitats. And with the beavers gone, well, we got to do the work so the ducks can have a place to, to go and hang out and swim around and eat food. Really, really cool. And be safe from predators. Daddy. All right, show the other cute little okay. one. Okay. So here's another cute one. Look at this. This is right. You can see the ladder. This is at our bushcraft tree shelter. <laughs> Check this out. Look at this. Isn't that cool? It's a raccoon. This was two nights ago. And then... So cute. Oh, we have one more thing. Check that out. It's our out. tree fort. <gasps> That's our bushcraft tree fort. Cougar. Agent S. <laughs> a cougar. That's a, cougar. a baby. No. no, that's not a baby. That's, that's a full-grown full cougar. cougar. That thing could take you down like that. Agents, a cougar. <laughs> we, I mean, I for all we know, fort. we were sleeping up there and a cougar walked by. And uh. cougars can totally hop up in that tree. So, anyways, <laughs> we're going to have to build out our bushcraft tree fort <laughs> to be a lot safer. Isn't that crazy? That, Wait, that, what's the one after that? That blew my mind. Yeah, I was okay. like, uh, what well, after that? Oh, there's a robin. See a little robin right there? It's, it's getting worms. So, that cougar was there two days ago. So that looks young. That's why you guys, we don't want you hanging out. It was at 6:30 in the evening. We don't want you guys hanging out in the woods alone, okay? Especially when it starts to get dark because there's cougars about here. <clears throat> For real. Wait, Anyways, where are all of them? One minute. Pretty long. scary, pretty cool. Agent Tex out. And don't forget to check out theadventureagents.com/shop to get all of your adventure agents clothing, badges, and our new survival gear, which includes our Adventure Agents survival knife, fire starter, flashlight, backpacks, and so much more. We'll see you on the next adventure.